let's move on to the next question of the chapter time and work so if three men or five women or eight boys can finish a work in 38 days so here it is given that three men and five women or eight boys can finish a work in 38 days so the number of days required by three men to complete a work is 38 days five women to complete the work is 38 days and eight boys to complete the work is 38 days right so we could say that eight men is equal to no three men is equal to eight boys right so one man is equal to eight by three boys right now five women is equal to eight boys right so one woman is equal to eight by five boys right now uh, then the number of days taken by six men ten women and six boys to complete the work we have six men ten women and six boys right so how much amount of boys is one man one man is eight by three boys right so let's put it over here it's so 8 by 3 boys plus 1 woman is 8 by 5 boys right so it's 8 by 5 boys plus 6 boys right so this becomes 5 and 10 becomes 2 so 2 8s is 16 b plus 16 b plus 6 b right 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 6 is 38 so this is equal to 38 boys right now uh, three men five boys or eight boys can finish the work in 38 days eight boys can finish the work in 38 days so one boy should require eight into 38 days to complete the work right now what how many days does 38 boys require they require eight into 38 by 38 days right so which means that they require 8 days to complete the work so the answer of this question is 8 days now if 3 men and 5 boys can do as much as 70 as in 17 days as 5 men and 3 boys can do in 15 days so 3 men and 5 boys can do how much work in 17 days as much as five men and three boys can do in 15 days so the amount of work done by uh, okay so basically three men and five boys can do the same amount of work that is five men and three boys are doing in 15 days right so the amount of work done by three men and five boys in 17 days that is three men plus five boys by 17 is equal to five men and three boys in 15 days right so this is the amount of work done in one day right by three men and five boys so let's do the calculation here 15 into 3m plus 5b is equal to 17 into 5 m plus 3 b right so we get 15 into 3 m plus 15 into 5 b is equal to 17 into 5 m plus 17 into 3 b right So, we have 15 into 3m plus 15 into 5b is equal to uh, 17 into 5m, 17 into 5m plus 
17 into 3b right we could take all the b's on one side and all the m's on one side so we have 15 into 3m minus or we could take the opposite that is 17 into 5m minus 15 into 3m is equal to uh, 15 into 5b minus 17 into 3b right now we take m common we have 17 into 5 minus 15 into 3 equal to b into 15 into 5 minus 17 into 3 right so what is 17 into 5 5 7s are 35 5 1s are 5 and 85 so m into 85 minus 15 into 3 is 45 is equal to b into 15 by into 5 5 5s are 25 5 1s are 5 and 7 75 minus 17 into 3 7 3s are 21 3 1s are 3 5 so this is 51 which gives us m into 40 is equal to b into 4 and 7 minus 5 is 2 24 so we have to find the ratio of rates of working of man and a boy so man by boy is equal to 24 by 40 when cancelling out by 4 we get 6 by 10 right again by 2 we could cancel out we get 3 is to 5 so the answer for this question is 3 is to 5 now so let's solve this question 36 workmen are employed to finish a certain work in 48 days but it's found that in 24 days only 12, 2 by 5 work is done how many more men must be taken in finish the work in time so here to solve these kind of questions in a very easy way we could study a formula where total work done is equal to the number of men into the time taken to complete the work divided by the part of work done right so what is the formula here the total work done is equal to number of men into time taken divided by the part of work done. So, let us see the total work here. The total work here. So, basically we have 36 workmen into the, the time they took was 24 days and how much work was done? 2 by 5 the work was done. So, this becomes 36 into 24 into 5 by 2, right? So, this becomes 1 and 8. So, we get 18 into 24 into 5. Then 24 into 5. 5 was a 20. 5 to the 10 and 12. We got 120 into 118. We have 12 into 18. 8 to the 16. 8 ones are 8 and 9. 1 to the 2. 1, 6, 11 and 2. So, this is 2160 units of work should be done in total, right? So, now we need to find the extra workers required to complete the work in the given time, right? So, we have uh, how many days do we have left first of all? We have initially had 48 days, right? So, we had 48 days. Now, 24 days is already gone. Now, how much days should we have left? We have 24 more days to go, right? So, according to this equation, what is the total work done? Number of men into time taken. So, what is the number of men here? That we should calculate. We already have 36 men and let x be the number of men. So, 36 plus x into time taken. What is the time taken? It should be 24 days divided by what is the part of work done? 2 by 5 part of work is already done. So, the rest of the work sh that should be done is 1 minus 2 by 5, right? 5 by 5 minus 2 by 5, anything you could say, right? So, 
Now, this gives us the total amount of work that should be done. And what is the total amount of work that should be done? It's 2160 units, right? Now, 36 into 24 plus 24x divided by 3 by 5 is equal to 2160, right? Now, let's multiply this 3 by 5 here. So, we'll get 36 into 24 plus 24x is equal to 2160 into 3 by 5. So, let's cancel these out. We get 4 fives are 20, uh, 3 fives are 15, 1, 0, 2, right? Now, we'll see 24x is equal to, what is 432 into 3? 432 into 3. 3 to 6, 3 3 is a 9, 4 3 is a 12, right? So, it's 1 2 9 6 minus 36 into 24, right? So, is 24 divisible in, let's do the calculation then. It's 36 into 24, 6 4 is a 24, 3 4 is a 12, 13 14, 6 2 is a 12, 3 2 is a 6 and 7. So, we have 4 6 8 we have 1, 2, 9, 6 minus 8, 6, 4, which is equal to 1, 2, 9, 6 minus 8, 6, 4, 2, 3 and 8 minus 12, we have 4, right? So, we have 432 here. Oh. Now, let's find the value of x. Now, let's find the value of x here. We have 24x is equal to 432, right? So, we have 24x equal to 432. So, x is equal to 432 by 24. So, either we could cancel out by 24 or like, let's see. Let's go with uh, 3 because, you know, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 5 plus 4 is 9. So, 9 is divisible by 3. So, let's go with 3. We have 1, 3 is a 3, 1, 13, 4, 3 is a 12 and 4, 3 is a 12 divided by 6, 8, 3 is a 24, right? Now, we could cancel this by 8, right? So, this goes like 1, 8 is a 8 uh, and 14 minus 8 is 14 minus 8. 14 minus 4 is 10 and 14 minus 8 is 6. So, 64, we get x to be 18, right? So, here the amount of extra workers required is 18. Now, a cistern which has a leak in the bottom due to which it is filled in 15 hours. Had there been no leak, it would have been filled in 12 hours. If the cistern is full, the leak can empty in. So, this is a concept of pipes and cisterns, right? So, next question. A cistern which has a leak in the bottom due to which it is filled in 15 hours. Had there been no leak, it would have been filled in 12 hours. If the uh, cistern is full, the leak can be em uh, can empty it in. So, we have that we have a tank and we have a cistern, right? So, we have a cistern, at the uh, we have a tank at the bottom at which with the leakage, it fills in 15 hours. So, let's say that it fills in 12 hours actually, 12 hours is the amount of time required to fill it. So, the you know the work done is 1 by 12 right in 1 hour, 1 by 12th part is filled in 1 hour. Now, uh, a system which has a leak in the bottom due to which it is filled in 15 hours. So, the total amount of time now which it is taking is 15 hours. That means, this is the time, new time which is taken to fill the uh, tank. So, in 1 hour, only 1 by 15 part of the tank is filled, right? Had been, had there been no leak, it would have been filled in 12 hours, okay. If the cistern is full, that is, the, uh, you know, 12 by 12 part of the cistern is filled, the leak can empty it in what time? So, 
we have 1 by 12 parts right so that is the amount the part which is filled in 1 hour normally but because of the leak you know it is filled in 1 by 15th of the time so let's find the time which the leak is taking out or the amount of part which is not filled because of the leak we have 1 by 12 minus 1 by 15 so 15 minus 12 is 3 3 by 15 into 12 5 2 is a 10, 2 1 is a 2 and 3, 5 1 is a 5 and 1 0 8. So, we have 3 by 180, 1 by 60. So, this is the amount of leakage we have, right? If the cistern is full, the leak can empty it in 60 hours. 60 hours is the answer. Let us move on to the next question. A tank can be filled by one tap in 20 minutes and by another in 25 minutes. Both the taps are kept open for 5 minutes and then the second is turned off. In how many minutes more the tank is completely filled? So, let us consider the first tip. Let us call it T1, right? So, the tap 1 requires 20 minutes to fill the tank, right? So, in 1 minute, tap 1 fills 1 by 20 parts of tank 1, right? And the tap 2, let us call it T2, requires 25 minutes to uh, fill the tank, right? So, in 1 minute, it fills 1 by 25 parts of the tank, right? So, in the first 5 minutes, in the first 5 minutes, both the taps are kept open. For the first 5 minutes, we have 5 minutes. 1 by 20 plus 1 by 25, right? So, what is this? Let us see. So, we have 5 into 1 by 20 plus 1 by 25. We have 5 We have 5 into 1 by 20 plus 1 by 25. This is the, uh, in the first 5 minutes, this is the thing which is happening, which is the number of parts which is being filled, which is equal to 5 into 25 plus 20 divided by 500, right? So, this is equal to 5 into 45 by 500. We could cancel this 5 and 500 to 100. So, we get 45 by 100, right? Now, how much amount is remaining to be filled? In the first 5 minutes, we filled 45 by 100 parts of the tank, right? Now, how much is left to be filled? Left to be filled is 100 by 100 minus 45 by 100, right? What is left there? 55 by 100 part is left to fill, right? Now, how much time does it take? We are switching off the second tape. So, we only have the first tape, right? So, we only have the first tape. Both the tapes are kept open for like 5 minutes and then the second is turned off. So, only we have the second one. So, basically, it becomes, it takes 20 minutes to fill the tank. And now we have to fill 55 by 100 parts of it, right? So, we could cancel 2, 5 and 10 and 2 is 5 and 5 and 55 goes as 11. So, it requires 11 minutes, right? The answer is 11 minutes. Now, okay, so let us move on to the next question. A tank can be filled in 10 hours. But owing to a leakage in its bottom, it requires 5 hours more to fill it. If the cistern is full, in what time can the leak empty it? So, let us say that tank can be filled in 10 hours. So, in 1 hour, the amount of water which is filled is 1 by 10 parts. Right? Now, but owing to a leakage in its bottom, it requires 5 hours more to fill it. 
Now the time which is required to fill the tank is 10 plus 5 hours which is 15 hours, right? Now it requires 15 hours to fill the tank. So in 1 hour, how much parts is filled? 1 by 15 parts is filled in 1 hour. If the cistern is full, in what time can the leak empty it? So at what rate would this empty? 1 by 15, we have 15 minus 10 by 150. We have a 15 minus 10 is 5 by 150, which gives us 1 by 30. So it requires 30 hours to completely leak the tank. So a cistern can be filled by two types in 20 minutes and 30 minutes respectively and be emptied by a third in 48 minutes. They are all turned on at once. Okay. Let's see. A cistern can be filled by two tapes 20 minutes in 20 minutes and 30 minutes respectively and be emptied by a third in 48 minutes. They are all turned on at once. When will the cistern be half full? So we have that the amount of work done by the first tape is 1 by 20. The amount of uh, or the amount of part filled, okay. Amount of part filled by the second tape is 1 by 30, and it is emptied by a third uh, emptied by a third in 48 minutes. It is emptied, right? So it is negative sign in 1 48 minutes, which means the amount of work or the part filled is negative 1 by 48. This is equal to what is it? Uh, let us calculate this, right. So, let us calculate this first 30 and 20, 30 plus 20 is 50, 50 by 3 to 6, 600 minus 1 by 48, we could cancel these out and 5 and 60 we get 1 by 1, 2. So, we have 1 by 12 minus 1 by 48 and we know that 4 into 2, 12 is 48. So, we get 4 minus 1 by 48, we have 3 by 48. Now, let us calculate whether, let us check whether 48 is divisible by 3. So, what is 4 plus 8? 4 plus 8 is 12 and 2 plus 1 is 3. So, it is divisible by 3. So, let us cancel 3 out from both of the places. We get 1 by 1, 6. 1 by 16 is the amount of time taken. And 16 the 1 by 16 parts would be filled so 16 minutes is the time taken now so we have let's move on to the next question two pipes a and b can fill a water tank in 20 minutes and 24 minutes respectively and a third pipe c can empty at a rate of 3 gallons per minute if a b and c are open together they can fill it in 15 minutes the capacity of the tank is so we have 1 by 20 plus 1 by 24 plus 1 by x. What is x? Because it is given in gallons per minute, right? We do not know how much time it takes to fill this much amount of part, right? Which is equal to, they can be filled in 15 minutes. So, we know the answer. So, let us find the x here, like the amount, you know, the c fills in, which is 24 plus 20 by 24 into 2 is 48, 480 plus 1 by x is equal to 1 by 15. Now, 24 plus 20 is uh, 44 by 480 plus 1 by x is equal to 1 by 15. Now, let us cancel this out by 4. We get 11 and we get 120, right? Now, 1 by x is equal to 1 by 15 minus 11 by 120 here we get 120 minus what is 15 into 11 15 into 11 we have 1 5 sub 5 1 1 sub 1 1 5 sub 5 and 1 5 6 and 1 we have 1 6 5 so we have 1 6 5 by 15 into 12 let's find 15 into 12 5 to the 10 2 1 sub 2 and 3 5 1 sub 5, 1 5 sub 5, 0 8 1. So, we have 1800 here, right? Now, let us find 165 minus 120, which gives us 45 divided by 1800. So, this would be a negative, that is negative 45 by 1800, 
we could cancel this out by 9 and we will get 5 by 200 and again cancelling it by 5 we get 1 by 40 and the negative sign remains it is negative 1 by 40. Now, now we know that x is equal to 1 by 40 right. So, let us see x is equal to 1 uh, x is equal to 40 why because 1 by x is equal to 1 by 40 ok. Let us keep the negative signs there. Now, it said that 3 gallons per minute right 3 gallons in 1 minute. So, for 1 gallon how much minutes is it required to take? It is required to take 1 by 3 minutes right. Now, we have 1 by 40 right. So, we will take 1 by 40 into 1 by 3. What is this? It is 1 by 120. So, how many gallons do we have? We have 120 gallons. The capacity of the tank is 120 gallons. Now, let us move on to the next question. A tape can fill a tank in 3 hours while another tape can empty it in 5 hours. How long will it take to fill the tank if both the tapes are open? So, a tap can fill the tank in 3 hours. So, T1 will take 3 hours. So, in 1 hour, the amount of uh, the tank first which is filled is 1 by 3 and another tape T2 can empty it in 5 hours. So, in 1 hour, the part it empties is minus 1 by 5. It empties, right? So, we will put a negative sign. How long will it take to fill the tank if both the tapes are open? We have 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 which is equal to 5 minus uh, 5 minus 3 that is 2 by 5 3 sir 15. The answer is 2 by 15. Cool. This there is no ones here. It is 5 by 12, 2 by 15, 4 by 13 and 3 by 14 are the option and 2 by 15 is the answer. Now, A, B and C together can finish a piece of work in 4 days. A alone can do it in 12 days and B alone in 18 days. How many days will it be taken by C to do it alone? So, we know that A takes 12 days to complete the work, B alone takes 18 days to complete the work and we do not know how much day C is going to take and they together they com can complete the work in 4 days, right. So, this is the equation that we get here. So, 18 plus 12 is 30 and what is 18 into 12? A2 is 16, 2 is 2 and 3, 8 and 1, so 6. 8 plus 3 is 11 and 1 plus 1 is 2. So, we have 30 by 2 16 plus 1 by C is equal to 1 by 4. Now, is it divisible by 3? 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Yes. So, let us cut 3 out from both of these. We have 6 3s are 18, 7 3s are 21 and 2 3s are 6. Right. Now, let us see. 1 by C is equal to 1 by 4 minus 10 by 72, right. So, 1 by C becomes 72 minus 40 divided by what is 72 into 4? 4. 4 to the 8 and 7 for the 28. So, 288, what is 72 minus 40? We have 2, 7 minus 4 is 3, 32 by 2, 88, right. What is 32? by 288. Let us cut it out by let us say um, 8. Can we cut it out by 8? Let us say this let us cut it out by 4 only and 6 4 set 24, 7 4 set 28 and 8 4 set 32. Now, 7 4 set 28 right now 2 4 set 8 and 9 8 set 72. So, we get 1 by c equal to 1 by 9. So, c is equal to 9. So, this was a few questions from the chapter time and work. These are the same set of questions like same pattern of questions we have over here. We have like the work done, the efficiency of the work done and then we have like pipes and cisterns, the amount of time required to take, time required to fill a tank and what if there is a leak. 
so this is all sort of questions which can be given from the chapter time and work i hope you all understand